The Belize Creek Steam Station is set to be retired in 2035. For years, the plant was powered by coal and natural gas. Now Duke Energy is working to go greener. WFMY News 2's Daniel Cruz explains how nuclear technology could keep the lights on for the next generation. In 1974, the Belize Creek Steam Station became the largest coal-powered plant in North Carolina. With a renewed focus on reducing carbon emissions, Duke Energy is now turning to nuclear technology. It's the backbone of the energy that we provide. In fact, it already provides more than 80% of all the carbon-free uh, energy. Uh, supply to the, the Carolinas. The new advanced nuclear technology will be the first of its kind in the Carolinas. It is, it is much more efficient, uses less land, uh, and, and that's really why you know Belize Creek was was the, the ideal site for this. It had sufficient land, it had water supply, it has the infrastructure already in place. Nuclear energy is, uh, in one word, is uh, the most cleanest energy human being ever invented. Dr. Rashad Gasparian with North Carolina a t says one concern many have is the radioactive waste produced by nuclear reactors. He says that there are ways to reduce or eliminate the dangers, allowing the waste to be disposed of safely or even recycled. Radioactive secondary elements, we can bombard them with some beam and make them uh, uh, another um, atoms which are not radioactive and we can store so any, any place. The nuclear technology is only a proposal at this point. Duke Energy still needs the approval of state and federal regulators before any work can begin. It's a, it's a decade-long process. Nothing is, is set in stone. We have a lot, of, uh, a, lot of, a lot of steps to take to make sure this is done right. Reporting in Stokes County, Daniel Cruz, WFMY News 2.